DXP Diecast Racing, welcome. Let's throw 16 cars on the track, see if we can find some speed out of some of these modern castings. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. We'll find out. Let's start off right here. Look, I got them all lined up right here. Let's see what we got. We got this Mazda Repu right here in the teal. Got the number two on it. Put him on the track. I got this Supra I found. 1982 Toyota Supra in red. I think that's from one of the more recent cases. I don't know. European. Got the little 80 symbol right there. I remember these cars. Got this guy right here, the Limited Grip. It says Black Widow on the side. Pretty cool looking truck. Did a good job on this one. And we're going to throw another one of these Jaguar I-Pace E-Trophy cars on the track. See if we can't find one that's maybe a little bit faster than the other one we've opened. Got this 72 string gray convertible. New for 2023. That's a sharp looking car. I don't think it weighs that much. Pretty sharp looking. We got this Nissan Maxima drift car in red. I'm gonna put one of these in this colorway on the track. Find out. Got this Lotus Evilia. I don't know how you say that. Evicia, I don't know. It's a Lotus. It's kind of got that, uh, I don't know, different look to it. Lotus Evicia, I don't know. Listen, I'm from the South, I don't know. Y'all call it what you want to, it's a Lotus. And I got a Corvette Grand Sport Roadster right there. So I can say that, because that's an American car. No offense, no offense to my fanfare and my brethren over there across the uh, across the pond. I love y'all. Got this guy right here. 71 Dodge Demon. Got the pretty Spectre Flame. This is a ultra hot. I like it. Got an Audi 90 Quattro. This is another one. I've raced one of these. Let's see if this one's any faster than you for 2023. Got a Mercury Cougar 68 version, ultra hot. Let's see if that's fast, maybe, maybe not. The Pagani Zonda R in blue. Looks like it's got a, got a long blonde hair on it. Hmm, like that. The Rally Special in white. I have not put a white one on the track. I have put the black one in that black. I can't remember what color it is. Yeah, the black one. I have not put a white one. Find out. Get this guy right here, the 71 Plymouth Roadrunner with half ultra hot and half regular black wheels. But it's an ultra hot. But, oh well. Got this Mustang NHRA funny car the funny cars of today, plastic and thin. Huh. Too bad they don't make them like they used to. And finally, we're going to put this Renault Sport RS01 Renault, Renault, whatever you want to call it, right there. I've had some of these. I raced some of these when I first started, and uh, they stayed in the case for a long, long time. I don't think I've got any in the cases now. But anyway... Those are the 16 cars we're going to put on the track. We'll see if we can find some speed or something out of them, some of these modern castings. And maybe we can. That guy has potential. Let's see what we got. Y'all stay with me while we work all these things up and see what we can do. DXP Diecast Racing. Been a while, folks, since I shot that intro video with all those cars it's been hot 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 but here they are we've got them all ready to go and we're gonna group just like this and we're gonna run them and we're going to see which one is fast if any of them are fast first up 
this Pugani, and I don't even remember what this thing is. The Zonda, it's pretty. It's going against this Renault RS Sport. We'll put the Renault over here in lane one. All these cars have been worked. And they are ready to go. Don't know if we got any speed in any of them. It's kind of a random batch. But we're going to race them. Ready, set, go. Ooh, 2285 to a 2304. We got a 19,000s beat. Bother a note. I thought it might be pretty quick. This Pagani is pretty a really pretty car pretty casting but i just don't know if it's got enough enough to make it super quick ready set go obviously not 22.58 wow he really picked up in time really picked up in time both of them did so the renault is going to move on it's a pretty car i like that casting Really sharp looking, just not very fast. It has been so hot here in Tennessee. We got this new car right here. I can't even remember what they're called. Limited grip, pretty cool truck. We're gonna race against this other truck. This has got to be a Mazda Repu. It is. Like I said, I filmed that intro video about a month ago, believe it or not. Seriously, it was about four weeks ago when I filmed it. And then I couldn't race out here because it got so hot, the heat index, it just wasn't worth it. And then I had the other series come through. And then I had this guy right here show up. Wanted to get his cars on the track. And then it got hot again. Ready, set, go. So we've been struggling here at the DXP Complex. Ooh, a 2000s beat by the Mazda Ripu. Right here, that's a pretty little truck. Pretty sharp looking little truck. I like this thing though. I don't know why, it's just weird looking. It looks like something that somebody would take to a show somewhere down the line. And uh, it may be based off somebody's car, who knows? But I like it. Ready, set, go. Oh man, that Mazda said, no way, buddy. <laughs> 2298 to a 2309. Good job right there by the Mazda. I like it though. Pretty cool looking, but no dice. Got this thing right here. What is this? This is a Mazda wagon. Nissan. Excuse me. Nissan Maxima Drift Wagon. Everybody seems to like these. And yeah, King of the Mountain seems to like them too. And we got this Mustang funny car that probably the worst car out of the bunch that I dusted up, the back wheels are just not great. And it's so thin, man. It really, Hot Wheels, come on, man. Get back to some real funny cars. Ready, set, go. Oh, gosh. Yeah, he's he ain't going again. <laughs> he, he got dusted. 2282 to a 24. It, it just doesn't roll the greatest. And, man, look at that. Come on. Come on. Hot Wheels, do better. Take take note up here, man. Take note. Take note. Come on. All right. I don't waste any time on that thing. Piece of junk. I wish I had David's uh, 50 cent box over there at Elevation Diecast for the yard sale. You may get a quarter for that thing. This thing right here. Curious. Uh, this is the first white one that I have bought. This is the Rally Special. These things have got some speed. This thing right here is the second one of these I've bought. Maybe this one will do a little bit better. This is the, the Audi or Aldi right here. Two white cars going up against each other. Let's see if anybody's got anything. Ready, set, go. Close race. Ooh, a 62 to a 69. But the Audi got a 7,000 beat. Right there, pretty close race. This guy right here, I got one black one in the case. I haven't purchased a whole lot of, well, I haven't purchased any of the white ones, to tell you the truth. I got a bunch of the black ones. I still need to run some tests on. Ready, set, go. But I am 
so far behind. 63 to 76. Good job by the Audi putting the Rally Special to bed. I like that. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, what do we got here? We got another one of these. I can't wait to see what this thing does or doesn't do. I bought several of these. This is actually my number two, second one I've ever had on the track. Going against this Lotus. Oh, gosh. I'm never going to say that. Elva Ja. El, well, I don't know. It looks like El, Elva Ja or whatever. It's a Lotus. And I'm going to put this one right here. Somebody correct me. My Southern's coming out right there. It's a pretty car. Let's see if this Jaguar I pace is any faster than the other one. Ready, set, go. Whoa! Woof. 2266 to a 2322. Aha. Uh -huh. That's not close at all. What was that, an 80 something thousandths beat? We're going to swap it. I'm going to swap it up. I don't think this Lotus is going to get magically faster. Hey, it's got those pretty. Trap fives on it. Trap fives make it faster is what some people say. Ready, set, go. Who says that? Nobody says that. 2238 to a 23. That's not a bad time at all. For a modern casting, 2238 to a 2314. That ain't bad, dude. That ain't bad. This is bad. Right here. That's why you're going over there. Corvette right here, Grand Sport. Yeah, I still got some graphite down there on the, didn't do a good job wiping him down. Going up against, this is an ultra hot Mercury Cougar. Pretty cool. If the ultra hots are not near as fast as they used to be, but they do have pretty paint jobs. You gotta give them that. That Spectra Flame, pretty cool. Ready, set, go. Ooh, good race. 68 to a 72. The Corvette takes it right there. That's a 4,000th beat. With this guy right here with the ugly graphite on the hubs. I did these a little bit different than I've been doing them just to see what would happen. Ready, set, go. That's a decent race right there. 51 to a 67. Mercury Cougar, you're very, very pretty with that Spectre Flame gloss color, but Corvette, gonna be matched up against that guy right there. Here's one. People are looking for this one. This is the Supra. Maybe a lot of people have found it. They did make a bunch of them. Going up against this cool Corvette Stingray convertible. I have not weighed any of these cars, but I bet that the guy right there is a lightweight. This guy, he does not weigh a lot. Ready, set, go. Well, he runs decent. 2311 to a 2307. Got a, got beat by four thousands from the Supra. Pretty cool. I like that. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I like the color. I like the headlights up, and I like the convertible. Wish it was a little bit faster. Not very fast. Ready, set, go. 2298 to a 2318, the Supra. Right there for all the JDM people out there. There you go. That's pretty cool, but not fast. All right, We've got some ultra hots here. We've got the... The Demon, right here, pretty pink, purpley color. Going against this, is that a Plymouth GTX? Right there, that's a ultra hot front and a five spoke back. Don't know why, but it is what it is. Ready, set, go. GTX, 2282 to a 23. 20, was it a 23, 28? Yeah, 18. 46,000s beat. Good grief by that guy right there. Nice car. I've had these guys for a little bit. Found these guys months and months ago. I haven't had a chance to race them. 
Got so much to race. I know y'all get tired of me saying that, but it's true. It's hard to find enough time right now in the fall. Ready, set, go. Yeah, actually, it's it's still summer, but I mean, when football season hits, it's uh, boys of fall, baby. Right there, you got winner, pretty car, pretty car, pretty car, in the box. All right, here we go. Round two, the Renault and the Mazda Repu. Mazda Repu, little pickup going in lane one. The Renault RS going in lane two. Who's gonna take it? Ready, set, go. Ooh, that Renault. Or a Nault, 61 to an 82. That's a 21,000 beat right there. This guy right here, pretty quick, pretty quick. Puts you over here in lane one with your 21 thousandths lead. Going against the Mazda. Ready, set, go. Closer race. Still pulled it out. 2266 to a 2282. Right, your winner going on. Little truck going over here. All right, who is he going to face? The Audi or the Nissan? Yeah. Yeah, been a hundred something heat index this past week, man. It was rough. Rough, dude. Rough, rough, rough. The track looks like it's in pretty good shape. I've cleaned it. Ready, set, go. That's a decent race right there. 54 to a 67, 13,000 feet. Look better than what it really was. This guy right here. We'll swap lanes. Swap some lanes here. We'll put the Audi over here in lane one. And the Nissan in lane two. Is that got writing under there? What is that? What is that underneath there? See that? It's just some kind of grill marks or something. Thought it was writing at first. But not so much. King of the mountain car, ready, set, go. Did not get the drop. 11 thousandths, he's gonna take the win though. 11 thousandths, look right down there. See that down there? I don't know if I can, see that right there? Look at that deer sitting right there by the rock wall, sitting there. <laughs> Got so many of them stupid things around here. All right, let's see if I can get it back. All right, here we go. This guy right here. Might have gone too far. Playing with everything here. Let me gotta dial it back in to where it should be. Right there. Looks good. All right. Oh, and I got that stupid sun on there. That's what I get for playing around with the with the settings when I'm trying to film a video. All right. Let's see here. I'm gonna cut this off and come right back. You won't miss a thing. See. Told you, didn't miss a thing. There we go. All right, here we go. Next round, we got the Jaguar I Pace, who put down a pretty dang good time over here in lane one, going against this Corvette Grand Sport, both of them in black. Ready, set, go. Jaguar 25. Look at that. Mmm. Uh, 32,000 is beat. 32,000 is beat. I believe it is by this guy right here. Well, it gets his grand sport. Still got the graphite on his wheels. Trying to find something out here with some of these new cars. We've got some other ones too. Ready, set, go. Trying to find one that's fast. Ooh, man. Jaguar's a little bit quicker. 32 to a 46, 14 thousandths. Win for this guy right here, like it. Hot Wheels got some pretty cool cars. I mean, they're not, they may not always have the prettiest tampos and everything, but some of them are pretty cool, like this one. It's a red Supra. Going against this guy right here. All right, here, Plymouth GTX. 
Super Muscle Car versus the 80s JDM. Ready, set, go. Woo, Muscle Car. Got him down to heel. 57 to an 82. That is a three. What is that? Mmm. Three twenty-five thousand feet, I believe it is. Twenty-five thousand feet for this guy right here. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. I always wonder now. I, I watch some of these other guys that do this. I, I mean, I watched a lot. I mean, it's no joke. My my talking and and uh, racing are patterned after red pill. Ready, set, go. If you haven't watched him. Don't know who Red Pill is. You missed out. Fast guy. Really fast guy. 58 to an 84. And, man, he used to just get on here and just talk and race and show you some fast cars. And I really like that format. And that's what I'm doing here. Of course, I don't edit very well. So, you get what you get. And if you don't like some of these new cars and these new castings, well, you probably aren't watching. If you're not watching, that's fine. I don't care if you watch or not. I'm doing it because I want to do it. Ready, set, go. And of course, if you're not watching, you don't know I'm talking about you anyway. 61 to a 70. And I wouldn't talk about you in a bad way. Just letting you know. Somebody somewhere out there will watch this video. Nine thousands beat by the Renault over the Nissan Maxima Drift. Got a lot of other stuff to run. Some old stuff. Got to get back into some old stuff. I got some good stuff to run, too. I have not run yet. And we are going to get to it when we get a chance. Ready, set, go. Hopefully this fall, we'll, uh, ooh, he got the beat by 1,000. But not enough. Not enough of a beat. I know I was going to get it right there. Bigger beat. We go by the biggest beats here. Not always the fastest times, especially with these lighter weight cars. So here you go right here, Jaguar versus the GTX. Winner will take on the Renault Sport RS. Who's it gonna be right here? Battery powered versus muscle. Ready, set, go. Woo, a little bit too many, too much on the old batteries. Must be lithium. 39 to a 55. 16,000 beat right there. 16,000 beat for the Jag. I believe he may take this one over here too. Don't know yet. We'll find out. Ready, set, go. Oh man, yeah, he got him. He got him. 23 to a 56. I mean, he runs some. What's some pretty good times? What's a beat on that? Uh, 22, 28,000s. Is that right? Am I right? 28,000s? Two. And why is my math crazy? 23,000s. Excuse me. 33,000s. That's. Listen, this guy got beat, all right? It's 33,000. Here you go. Here's your finals. Those two guys right there. Not sure what case that came out of. This is more of a recent case. Well, more recent for right now, anyway. Can't find, I can still find these things all over the shelves. This thing right here cannot find on the shelf. Unless you go to, well, I got one store there may have to be some in. Ready, set, go. Oh, yeah. 2230 to a 2259. If you're watching this video and you only are dealing with the new cars, 29,000s beat. This guy right here, if you can find some of these things right here, they're not all fast, but they're pretty decent. Pretty decent. They're, they may not be, I mean, crazy, crazy fast, but for especially compared to some of the older cars with the metal bases, but that ain't a bad car. Ready, set, go. <laughs> And if you're young, that's a 20 to a 65, no chance for the R Renault. This guy right here's your winner right there. Not really too surprised. That guy right there is a decent runner. I don't know if anybody's really fantastic. Let's weigh him up. So anyways, gonna go off, go off. I gotta get a new battery for this thing. 
39.24. All right. So he's going to be in this case right here because he's under 40. This case right here, let's see what he's got. First one up is this guy right here. This is a i8 BMW. Pretty cool. This is from California Collection Series way back when, I believe so. I was in a BMW i8 just the other day. My buddy's got one. Fast little car. Let's get you back. I dropped my thing. Sorry. I haven't, haven't raced out here on camera in a while and I'm doing everything crazy. Ready, set, go. Ooh, he got him from the outside lane. 20 to a 37. 17 thousandths beat. Race him again. I do beats. Um, I just do beats. I do the math in my head and or try to most of the time and do the bigger beat. See who's going to get it. Instead of overall speed, ready, set, go. Some people do it different. That's just the way I do it. 21 thousandths. Right there. So you are going to get in and you, my friend, are going to go somewhere else. Let's move him up here. This guy right here. This is a salt shaker right here. Got the green tires. We'll see if he can get past him. Since I've redone these cases and everything and added a little bit, I got to do a recalibration. I keep talking about it. Going to happen eventually. Ready, set, go. Ooh, he got him all the way down. 11 to a 27, 16 thousandths beat right here. I know generally with the lighter cars, that is, lane one, send teams, ah, I'm going to talk straight here in a minute, uh, tends to run a little bit faster than lane two. Ready, set, go. I tried and tried and tried to get them even. 22 to a five, bigger beat. But I cannot, for some reason, I have put I have put levels on it. I have done everything. Let's see if you can beat this guy right here. That's salt shaker. Move him up a little bit, and I cannot get it. I cannot get it to go right to do to be even even, and I, it really frustrates me. But I've given up on being frustrated. I'm just going to go by the beats. And every once in a while, especially with the heavier cars, some cars like this uh, outside lane. Ready, set, go. Just kind of depends on what it is. 27 to a 41. So I'm, I'm just going to do, do I'm just going to be happy. I've decided just to be happy. 14 thousands beat. We are going to do the best we can do. We'll try to do everything fair. We're trying to find fast cars and like everybody else because there's a lot of people out there that find fast cars. If you don't believe me, watch Commotion Diecast. Watch Blue Line. Ready, set, go. Watch Scale Racing Channel. 24 to a 38. Hey, that's 12,000 feet. Got past him. Let's see if you can get past. You're moving right on up here, buddy. See what happens if you go against this FTE Corvette. This guy got in earlier this year when I did an FTE race. I got a lot more FTEs to run. And I know some people hate them, and they're not my favorite, but they are interesting. Ready, set, go. Just because they're supposed to be faster than everything else, and you can see right there, 21 to a 32. That's a 12 thousandths beat. Right? No, 20, 11 thousandths beat. Excuse me. For this guy right here. But these cars are have made a... Well, they've made a statement in diecast racing. Love them or hate them or like them or indifferent. They are 
They are what they are. Ready, set, go. Oh man, he got by him too. It's a pretty decent running, running uh, car right here. 22 to a 27. This guy right here, he's gonna move on up. Let's see what happens. Let's get him to the vintage car right here. Here's a Torino Stalker Hot Ones right there. He's, he's a beater, but he's a good runner. Let's see what happens. These things are tend to, these hot ones can be like mega quick and then they can be temperamental. But when they are running good, they run good. Ready, set, go. We got him. 17 to a 23, that's a little bit, man, I may get him in that lane this time around. Put my official Michael Dicast Garage stop bag. That is yeah, six thousandths for this guy right here. Getting closer. That guy right there has seen a lot of mileage. You gotta think that's a 40 plus year old car right there. And man, he is still hanging in there. Pretty cool, ready, set, go. Oh man, I think you got him. You got the drop. 09 to 26 he did, okay. All right, there you go. Pretty cool right there. That's a classic car. Oh, I got a bad story about those two. Uh, well, not necessarily bad. Let's put him up against this Mario Kart. I got a Mario Kart from last year or sometime, and he made it up in there. Uh, I was actually in Georgia a couple of weeks ago, and... A guy was, I was with my sister, and we were uh, looking for some stuff for her business. Ready, set, go. And the guy had a bunch of Hot Wheels up on the shelf and in a box. Yeah, what is this? What's the beat here? Jaguar got him by 22,000. Wow. Good job, Jag. Beat the old Mario Kart. Driverless Mario and the guy had a bunch of these old cars, and I was looking through there, and I found two Torino Stalkers, the hot ones. I found a red one, and I found a yellow one, and the yellow one was mint. Ready, set, go. Oh, man, he pulled right around him. Good job right there. 14 to a 39. All right, well, we've almost got you placed, buddy. You got one more car, and it's gonna be a modern car, too. Kind of surprising. This guy right here, this Challenger Drift, it does, does really well for a modern car. But the guy would, uh, he said, all oh, those in that box up there are my brothers. And he goes, I can't do anything with those. And I was like, oh man, uh, call your brother. <laughs> I said, I'm interested in buying them. And uh, he, he wouldn't. He said his brother saves everything. Ready, set, go. <laughs> And I don't think he, uh, that's 20,000 speed uh, by the Jaguar. I don't think his brother really cared much about him because the way there was, there was a bunch of junky ones in there, really bad. He probably would have taken some money if he was there, but I understand his brother's not there, and I'm not pushing the envelope on something like that. But, man, those are really nice. I would really like to have had them. Ready, set, Go. That's, well, there he is. 22 to a 34. Well, we got one in the case. Can't be mad about that. He's actually going to go right up here. And I'll move all these down. I don't think any of these cars have, are going to... Nothing else is going to even come close. Uh, I want to weigh this guy just because I want to see what he weighs. I figured he's pretty light. He is 26.42. Let's see if he can get in. And I'll race the rest of these off. Ain't no sense in wasting your time on any of those. Probably no sense in wasting your time on this either, but it's so light, I want to try him out. And he's got to go up against this, this uh, Camaro right here to get in. I don't think he will. I've really got to work on getting these lightweights really, really faster. So I'm going to work on that. Ready, set, go. 
bad. 63, oh, you know, that is bad. That is bad. I'll put him in the fast lane and see what happens. Thanks for watching here with me, for joining me for a little bit of a race. Man, I think, I, I don't know. I don't want to preview what I'm going to do because I don't know yet. Ready, set, go. Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh, you blew right by him. 52 to a 308. Okay. Not even close, buddy. You're in the you're in the weight, but you're just not you're not there. All right, well that's racing for with DXP today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't enjoy it, you don't like a lot of these new cars. Sorry. Uh, see what we got. This is what we got to do here. Try to get them faster. DXP diecast racing. I don't know what we're gonna do next. I got some more new cars. I got some older cars. I kind of want to do some 57 Chevys. And I kind of want to do some uh, some uh, sidekicks. And I got some more funny cars to race too. The good kind of funny cars. And I got some Zender Fact 4s that I want to get on track. And I got some Dixie Challengers too. I don't know what we're going to do. Stay tuned. We'll find something out. Thanks again for watching DXP Diecast Racing. It's cooling off. Once we have time, baby, we're going to throw a lot more cars on the track. We're not going anywhere. We'll see you on the track.